365 World News. New questions tonight about a member of the president's inner circle. Communications director Hope Hicks, did she play a role in the misleading statement about that Trump Tower meeting between Donald Trump Jr. and that Russian lawyer, among others? Promising dirt on Hillary Clinton, but the explanation at first was something very different. Here's ABC's chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, tonight. She's the White House communications director, often seen at the president's side. Hope, say a couple of words. Tonight, Hope Hicks is under increasing scrutiny. Did she try to mislead the public about that infamous Trump Tower meeting with Don Jr. and a group of Russians? At issue, that first controversial statement released by Don Jr., saying it was primarily to discuss, quote, the adoption of Russian children. But days later, emails to Don Jr. revealed something far different. Don Jr. had agreed to meet the Russians after he was promised dirt on Hillary Clinton. The email said the dirt was high-level, sensitive information from, quote, Russia and its government support for Mr. Trump. President Trump tried to downplay the meeting. My son is a wonderful young man. He took a meeting with a Russian lawyer, not a government lawyer, but a Russian lawyer. That first misleading explanation was written on this Air Force One flight. The president and Hope Hicks helping to craft it as they returned from overseas. Some critics asking, why did the president step in at all? The president weighed in as any father would based on the limited information that he had. And tonight, ABC News has learned the spokesman for President Trump's legal team at the time, Mark Corallo, was concerned about the statement's misleading nature. Less than two weeks later, he resigned. A source close to Corallo describes a conference call with Corallo, President Trump, and Hope Hicks just one day after the misleading statement was released. On that call, Corallo alleges that Hicks said of those emails with Russians promising dirt on Hillary Clinton, quote, only a few people have them. They will never get out. And Corallo responded, this is Washington. Everything gets out. As ABC News first reported earlier this week, the special counsel has now contacted Corallo for an interview as Robert Mueller investigates whether there was obstruction of justice. So let's get to Pierre Thomas with us live tonight in Washington. And Pierre, what are we hearing from Hope Hicks? David, an attorney for Hicks denies Corallo's account, saying the idea she ever suggested emails would be concealed is completely false. David? Pierre Thomas, live in Washington.